Welcome back to another full body workout. This session was very brutal and I highly recommend you give it a shot if you want something short and intense. So we're starting off with the boar slingshot, going to do three sets of one, but not 90%, which would be 385. Instead, we are doing 405. Guys, so I was supposed to max out, but I'll be honest, I fucked up my diet on the weekend. Didn't eat enough calories and now I'm paying the price. So three sets of one is more than enough. I'm just gonna have to keep recalibrating, bro. My reasoning behind this is that I wasn't fully recovered. Original plan was to use the max effort method, but hey, Ate in a calorie deficit all weekend while doing a lot of cardio, so entirely my fault. That's just the name of the game, but it's all good. We press forward and we don't make excuses. So 405, still got an excellent workout in, man, so it's all good. But I will say the sets didn't move that well. So now we're doing the Z-Press. Like I told you guys in recent videos, I don't do exclusively bench anymore. I think that was a mistake. Ever since I started doing more vertical presses, my upper back, my shoulder health, everything has improved. And the thing with the Z-Press is that it yields crazy carry over to standard pressing because it's much more difficult. You lose at least 20 to 25 pounds. And the proof is right here. 185 for a double. Like, bro, I couldn't even lock out the third rep. That's how fucking hard this exercise is. So you must give it a shot. It'll build your overhead stability like crazy. And it's an amazing way of overriding the biological law of accommodation. And that's one thing that I've been learning recently, bro. Like, I can't just use the standard overhead press. I've tried it, and it works when I do three-week waves and all that. But with my concurrent setup, I plateau if I don't rotate the variations. So that's why I'm doing the Z-Press. Now, for the legs, reverse Zercher lunge. Haven't been going heavy on lunges for so long. The max I've been doing is like 100 pounds with a sandbag just for high volume. So I'm pretty pleased with my performance today. Is it my peak performance? Absolutely not. This is just day one. So I'm probably going to push this for a three-week wave, probably because I can. And that's it. Man, just doing reps of 10. So five each leg. I strongly recommend this variation because it's going to hit the core very, very nicely in addition to the upper back. And you get an amazing leg workout, bro. Like, you're getting more out of less weight. Like, I actually woke up with glute doms today, man. That's crazy. And during the set itself, they're just pumped up like crazy. So I've always loved lunges. I've always loved, you know, ladder work for building up your legs. And when I used to do a lot of these for high volume, like, I got some of the best results of my life. Comparable to squats, actually. So I would highly recommend this variation, either as a secondary movement or as primary. Either way, you're going to get crazy, crazy gains. So I think I'm going to keep pushing it. Otherwise, I'll just be lazy again. But there you go. Here's the first session of me actually doing something meaningful in a while, okay? So let me know if you want to see more stuff like this, okay? Over here, since I'm so sweaty, started moving around. Just have to balance it, but... All right, so now we're doing the close chin-up, five sets of five with 100 pounds. Now... This variation is crazy effective and you will feel your biceps more than any other style in my opinion because um, your hands are like away from you for the most part. It's similar to that variation that Athlete X talked about except now it's easier to control the movement pattern because the placement of your hands is, is like fixed, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to consciously control your body and move backwards and stuff. Like it's hard to explain but you have to try it, you know what I'm talking about. Crazy, crazy pump and um, it's just very brutal and difficult to do. And of course, 5x5 five five is a time-tested strategy. It works great for bodybuilding and raising your strength. And like I'm always saying, like you can use it on intensity days or volume days. It's a nice little hybrid method. So if you're not feeling 100%, you don't want to do a 3x1 or max effort method, you do 5x5 five five or a 3x5 five or a 3x3. Three three. Like there's so many options with concurrent periodization. And that's pretty much all I did for my back. And keep in mind too, the lunges, right? Because I did such a style, hits the upper back as well. So you don't have to go as heavy on the pull-ups after, which is pretty crazy. So yeah, here's a superset. Let me know if you like the style for this video, just side by side like that. I believe this is important to do for injury prevention and just maximum gains. It's just extra stuff to do on the side. Okay, it's not the main part of the workout, but it's helpful. Then of course, we finish off with the fat grip chin up. Didn't do any curls this workout. Wasn't the mood for it, man. And besides, I felt my buys a lot with these fat grips and I was getting a lot out of it too, just body weight style. So rep that out, two sets of 15. Usually for my accessories, I keep it lower on the volume, but I still up the reps a little bit, so. That's all I did for this session, man. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, try it out yourself. The drive that allowed me to get through this workout. So I really hope that it motivates and inspires you. More content on the way. And I'll see you around.